हॅलो एव्हरी वन आय एम डॉक्टर तेजश्री सदेश पांडे आय डीड पी एच डी फ्रॉम पुणे युनिव्हर्सिटी अँड लेटर पोस्ट डॉक फ्रॉम भाबा ॲटॉमिक रिसर्च सेंटर मुंबई इन धिस मॉड्यूल वी विल सी टू प्रोसेसेस दॅट आर डी जनरेटिव्ह इन नेचर बट स्टील आर ऑफ ग्रेट सिग्निफिकन्स टू प्लांट्स दीज आर सेनेसन्स अँड ॲप्सिशन प्लांट सेनेसन्स डिफाईन्स द लास्ट स्टेज ऑफ डेव्हलपमेंटल प्रोग्रॅम अँड लीड्स टू द डेथ ऑफ द प्लांट ऑर इट्स ऑर्गन ॲप्सिशन इज द प्रोसेस बाय विच प्लांट्स आर एबल टू शेड ऑर्गन्स वेन दे आर नो लॉंगर रिक्वायर्ड द लर्निंग ऑब्जेक्टिव्ह ऑफ दिस मॉड्यूल इन्क्लूड अंडरस्टँडिंग द सेल्युलर प्रोसेसेस दॅट लीड टू सेनेसन्स रेग्युलेशन ऑफ सेनेसन्स बाय हॉर्मोन्स अँड जीन्स अँड लास्टली द प्रोसेस ऑफ ॲप्सिशन अँड द जीन्स इन्वॉल्व इन इट्स रेग्युलेशन फर्स्ट लेट अस अंडरस्टँड लिव्ह सेनेसन्स इन ब्रीफ लिव सेनेसन्स इज द मोस्ट कॉमन टाईप ऑफ सेनेसन्स ऑब्झर्व्ड इन प्लांट्स इट मे बी असोसिएटेड विथ एज वेअर द प्लांट सेनेसेस आफ्टर कम्प्लिटिंग इट्स लाईफ सायकल ॲज सीन इन ॲन्युअल प्लांट्स द न्यूट्रियंट्स रिलीज्ड ॲज अ रिझल्ट ऑफ सेनेसन्स आर युजली ट्रान्सफर्ड टू डेव्हलपिंग फ्रूट्स अँड सीड्स लिडिंग टू इन्क्रीज रिप्रोडक्टिव्ह सक्सेस इन पेरेनियल्स एस्पेशली डेसिडियस ट्रीज लिव सेनेसन्स ऑकर्स इच इयर इन अनफेवरेबल दॅट इज ड्राय ऑर कोल्ड सीझन्स द रिलीज न्यूट्रियंट्स आर रिलोकेटेड फ्रॉम द सेनेसंट लिव्स टू फ्लोएम पॅरनकायमा अँड झायलेम रेटी शूज इन द स्टेम मेनली इन द फॉर्म ऑफ बार्क स्टोरेज प्रोटीन्स दीज प्रोटीन्स प्ले अ रोल इन नायट्रोजन स्टोरेज ड्युरिंग प्लांट डॉर्मन्सी and are remobilized and reutilized for shoot growth in favorable seasons hence remobilization of nutrients is the main outcome of senescence unlike deciduous species evergreen tree species shed leaves throughout the year rather than in a specific season leaf senescence is characterized by leaf yellowing but what happens at the cellular level in senescing cell Several cellular processes occur which leads to chloroplast degradation remobilizing the contents to other tissues through phloem and ultimately results in cell death we shall see some of these processes in the next few slides the first process is autophagy which occurs in vacuoles it is a major chloroplast dismantling pathway during senescence The cytoplasmic components and organelles are separated into autophagosomes which are double membrane bound structures. The outer membrane of autophagosome fuses with vacuolar membrane and delivers its constituents into vacuole for degradation. The autophagosome formation and trafficking it into vacuole depends on the activities of autophagy related genes. also known as atg genes that are activated during the onset of senescence in addition to autophagosome formation several hydrolytic enzymes like proteases lipases nucleases and glutamine synthase genes are expressed during senescence these are involved in hydrolysis of proteins lipids and nucleic acids in senescing cells Mitochondrial glutamate dehydrogenase activity also plays a role in remobilizing nitrogen by providing ammonium which is required for glutamine synthesis from glutamic acid by glutamine synthase these hydrolytic products and glutamine are then remobilized via phloem to the other sink tissues in the plant up to 50% of the nitrogen in leaves resides in rubisco which is transported to the vacuole through vesicles called rubisco containing bodies or rcbs the recovered nitrogen by the breakdown of rubisco is released as a part of remobilization process chloroplasts also generate reactive oxygen species or ros due to defects in the electron transport system caused by chlorophyll breakdown and the dissociation of chloroplast protein complex however ros generation during natural leaf senescence is regulated such that the ros build up does not lead to premature cell death which could compromise nutrient remobilization 
alternative electron transport system in chloroplasts make it possible to generate some ATP which is used to, for nutrient recycling and export during the senescence associated collapse of the photosynthetic apparatus. Finally, the tonoplast ruptures releasing the hydrolytic enzymes which cause protoplast degradation and cell death. However, this happens after the nutrients from the senescent leaves have been remobilized to the other cell tissues. Now we come to the regulation of senescence. First we will see how plant hormones play a role in the regulation of senescence. Several plant hormones like ethylene, jasmonic acid, abscisic acid and salicylic acid promote leaf senescence. Whereas cytokinin, auxins and gibberellins delay this process. Of these, cytokinin and ethylene biosynthesis and signaling have been shown to play an important role in all phases of senescence and the mechanism by which they do so have been well studied. Cytokinins are known to be negative regulators of senescence and the cytokinin levels drop during senescence. The Arabidopsis histidine kinases or AHKs are cytokinin receptors which phosphorylate the Arabidopsis response regulators or ARRs that are involved in cytokinin signaling. The phosphorylated ARRs induce downstream cytokinin responsive genes which are negative regulators of the senescence associated genes. Ethylene levels increase during senescence leading to hastening of leaf as well as flower senescence. Hence, ethylene is a positive regulator of senescence. The genes of the ethylene biosynthesis pathway and of the ethylene signaling pathway play an important role in promoting senescence. The ethylene receptor ETR1 and the signaling intermediates Ethylene insensitive EIN2 and EIN3 are upregulated during senescence and mutants defective in these genes show a delay in leaf senescence. Other hormones like abscisic acid, jasmonic acid or salicylic acid are known to promote senescence via signaling pathway in which reactive oxygen species are involved. However, these hormones play a role in inducing senescence primarily in response to abiotic or biotic stresses rather than natural senescence. Besides hormones, several transcription factors have been identified that regulate the expression of senescence associated genes in Arabidopsis. Several worky transcription factors have been identified that act downstream to the ethylene or ABS signaling pathways and regulate the expression of senescence associated genes. Worky 53 is upregulated at a very early stage of leaf senescence through the ethylene signaling pathway but decreases at later stages. This transcription factor binds to the promoter regions of various senescence associated genes to regulate their transcription. A knockout line of Worky 53 gene showed delayed leaf senescence whereas its overexpression caused precocious senescence. Another Worky transcription factor, Worky 71, hastens leaf senescence by directly activating the aminocyclopropane synthase gene SCS2 leading to an increase in ethylene levels. It also upregulates the ethylene signaling pathway gene. EIN2 to accelerate leaf senescence. In turn, the expression of Worky 71 is upregulated by ethylene, thus forming a feed forward loop. Worky 71 expression is also induced by abscisic acid, especially in response to abiotic stress like drought, which causes precocious leaf senescence. The senescence associated genes include protease. RNases, glutathione synthetase, metallothionins, lipases, glyoxylate cycle enzyme, catalase, endoxyloglucan transferase, ATP sulfurylase, 
glutathione as transferase all of which give rise to senescence phenotype the genes are expressed during senescence associated with natural aging seasonal variation or in response to abiotic and biotic stress some natural transcription factors called oricera or ore139 also promote leaf senescence associated with natural aging ORE1 mutants show a delay in age induced senescence while ORE9 mutants show a delay in both age and hormone induced senescence Verki 71 directly regulates ORE1 expression besides that of EIN2 which we saw in the previous slide the expression of ORE1 is negatively regulated by microRNA164 suggesting epigenetic control of senescence EIN2 which is progressively expressed in aging leaves represses microRNA164 expression this leads to ORE1 activation and the promotion of senescence another transcription factor called arabidopsis thaliana activation factor or ATAF1 also induces expression of ORE1 in response to accumulation of ABA or ROS ATAF1 inhibits the expression of MIP transcription factor golden like 1 GLK1 which regulates several genes involved in chloroplast biogenesis the expression of ORE1 and GLK2 is modulated by ATAF1 as senescence progresses ORE1 protein is also reported to interact with various GLK family proteins and heterodimer formation leads to the repression of glk2 inhibition of glk2 by atf1 or ore1 leads to the formation of defective pigment protein complexes inhibition of photosynthesis and accumulation of reactive oxygen species ros in chloroplast ros build up leads to degradation of chloroplast components and remobilization of their catabolic products ORE1 also positively regulates the expression of bifunctional nucleus 1 BFN1 which encodes a type 1 nucleus and is associated with nucleic acid degradation during senescence BFN1 expression leads to cell death which is the final stage of senescence now we shall see other degenerative process called abscission abscission is the process by which a plant sheds leaves flowers or fruits it is a tightly controlled cellular progression that occurs at specific developmental stages and ensures that plants can shed organs when they are no longer required such as flowers after pollination or senescing leaves it is also enables a plant to get rid of infected or damaged organs seasonal abscission of leaves occurs in deciduous trees during the harsh summer or winter as moisture availability declines the leaf shed reduces transpiration and the risk of hydraulic failure in addition abscission prevents the senescent tissues from shedding the new leaf growth thus optimizing resources for photosynthesis by the new and more efficient young leaves dispersal of fruits and seeds by abscission is important for the reproductive success of plants let us see how the processes of abscission occurs in plant though abscission is frequently associated with senescence especially in leaves the two processes are different in that senescence relates to the death of a leaf whereas abscission involves the shedding of aged leaf which occurs as a consequence of senescence the developmental age of the plant is an important factor in determining whether or not abscission can progress the abscission zone az differentiates early in development and normally remains in an arrested state until relatively late in the life span of the associated organ the abscission zone consists of a small cells 
with dense cytoplasm interconnected by plasmodesmata. It is present during the development of organ and lies at the boundary of organ that show eventual abscission like for example the base of the petiole. Cell differentiation in abscission zone occurs in response to abscission signals. The first and most obvious change in the abscission zone cell is the breakdown of the middle lamella and loosening of the rigid cell wall structure. This leads to deformed cells in this zone. Further, the cells in the abscission zone are light lignified or suberized to form a protective layer. Finally, separation of tissues between the parent plant and the leaf occurs outside the protective layer, resulting in the shedding of leaf. The intact protective layer forms a scar on the stem, which serves as a physical barrier against water loss and opportunistic pathogen attack. The regulation of abscission involves an interplay of the hormones auxin and ethylene which act as negative and positive regulators respectively. In non-abscissing organs, high auxin concentration in the abscission zone cells represses the activation of the abscission program. Auxin transport is mediated through the efflux proteins, pin protein, and the influx proteins AUX, which are specifically expressed in the abscission zones. Ethylene has been identified as the primary abscission inductive factor. The acquisition of competence of the abscission zone cells to respond to the abscission inductive signals result from the interplay of ethylene and auxin. Abscissing organs such as floral organs after pollination or senescing leaves and fruits produce ethylene that is released to the abscission zone cells and this is accompanied by a decrease in auxin levels in the abscission zone. Ethylene plays a major role in the initiation of progression of abscission by inducing the execution of cell separation processes and the organ detachment from the plant. However, the interplay between these two hormones is not sufficient for the regulation of abscission. While abscission is significantly delayed in the ethylene insensitive mutants, ethylene resistant 1, ETR1, which codes for the ethylene receptor and ethylene insensitive 2, EIN2, which is involved in the ethylene signaling pathway. The organs are eventually shed using the same cellular processes indicating that the other endogenous signals are involved in bringing about abscission. This led to the discovery of a core signaling pathway for regulation of abscission in Arabidopsis. This pathway is activated by ethylene and consists of a small secretory peptide called inflorescence deficient in abscission. IDA and two receptors HISA HAE and HISA like HSL2 which belong to the leucine rich receptor like kinases RLK's family. The IDA signaling pathway acts downstream of ethylene signaling and serves as a signal to coordinate organ separation and post abscission events. Binding of IDA to the two RLK's and association of this complex with the core receptor belonging to the somatic embryogenesis receptor kinase SCRK family activates signaling through the mitogen activated protein kinase MAPK cascade that leads to the downregulation of the knotted like from Arabidopsis thaliana NAT1 or Brevipedicellus BP. BP is important in regulating the correct timing of organ separation by restricting abscission zone cell size and maintaining a boundary between the abscission zone region and the organs. BP is a negative regulator of two other transcription factors NAT2 and NAT6 which are activators of floral organ separation 
ड्यूरिंग द लेटर पार्ट ऑफ ऑब्सिशन प्रोग्राम अपॉन एक्टिवेशन ऑफ द आइडिया सिग्नलिंग पाथवे द बी पी रेस्ट्रिक्शन ऑफ नैट टू एंड नैट सिक्स इज रिमूव एंड दीज फैक्टर्स पॉजिटिवली रेग्युलेट ऑर्गन सेपरेशन बाय एक्टिवेटिंग द एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ सेल वॉल रिमॉडलिंग एंजाइम्स दैट लीड टू द सेल सेपरेशन कॉम्पोनेंट्स ऑफ दिस कोर सिग्नलिंग पाथवे हैव बीन शोन टू फंक्शन इन अदर प्लांट स्पीशीज टू To conclude in this module we have dealt with senescence and abscission which are two degenerative processes that involve the death of organs and shedding of the dead organs though degenerative these processes are important in the plant life cycle senescence ensures remobilization of nutrients from old aging leaves to the reproductive sinks while abscission leads to the dispersal of fruits and seeds which are important for reproductive success